We could never see any image for the entire duration we, play, we were building this, both camera and playback unit. There was no way to see anything. We saw everything by voltage measurements and oscilloscope traces. That was it. That's how we knew it was working. Um, finally, the whole thing got together. I looked at Jim and I said we should take a picture of something, but you know, our lab was pretty, pretty ugly. So I walked down the hallway, I found a young lab technician, she was sitting in a teletype, her name was Joy Marshall, and I asked her if I could take a head and shoulder shot of her, which she agreed, because she knew we were the weird guys at the end of the hall. <laughs> and um, she was comfortable with us there, and uh, so I did. I took the shot, and uh, you could tell the camera was working because the tape started to turn. So I walked back to the lab, and Jim and I went back there, we popped the tape out, put it into the playback unit, and then up popped an image. And what you could see was you could see her hair, you could see the background, which was light, and then her face was complete static, completely unrecognizable. <laughs> but Jim and I were so happy because we knew of a thousand reasons why you might not see anything at all. The fact that we actually saw the outline of an image that we just took was remarkable. And we said, so much is working. So much was working. Well, Joy had followed us into the lab, <laughs> and she, she was less impressed with the image. <laughs> And, and she just said, she looked at us, he said, needs work, turned around and walked away. <laughs> True story. True story. I couldn't make that up. <laughs>